Zon 4 was launched on March 2nd, 1968 at 629 p.m. UTC from Site 81 at Baikonur Cosmodrome. It was an uncrewed launch of a prototype crewed spacecraft, the Soyuz 7K-L1, meant to send cosmonauts on a lunar flyby trajectory. Zon 4 was not actually aimed at the moon, but rather just to a lunar equivalent distance to simplify calculating the trajectory for this first try. The rocket that launched Zon 4, the Proton K, with a block D upper stage, did not have the payload capacity to send a crewed mission that could make orbit around the moon and break orbit again. So a flyby of the moon was the best it could do. For the Soviets to accomplish anything more, they would need the N1 rocket. Earlier Zon missions, Zons 1 through 3, were planetary probes of completely different design and purpose. The generic nature of the Zon program arises from the fact that Zon literally means probe in Russian. This launch occurred during the redesign phase for the Soyuz program in the wake of the tragedy of Soyuz 1 and also prior to the Apollo 7 crewed retest in the wake of Apollo 1. So Zon 4 was a significant step forward for the Soviet space program in what was a troubled time for both of the lunar efforts. It reached its target apoapsis of 354,000 kilometers, but then its attitude control system had issues and communication system did not fully deploy. Mission controllers were able to get it to make a necessary correction to ensure a re-entry, but after separating from its service module, the descent module couldn't maintain control for a lifting re-entry and instead experienced a ballistic re-entry that amounted to a peak of about 20 Gs of deceleration. Because the spacecraft was returning over water in a discrete location, it was automatically destroyed at an altitude between 10 and 15 kilometers to prevent unfriendly forces from picking it up, uh, likely before it would release its drogue chute, unlike in the video, but I'm not certain about that. Because it was named as part of the Zon program of planetary probes, Western observers thought that it was a planetary probe. The Soviet press claimed for years that it had been sent to a heliocentric orbit to obscure its purpose. This would not, however, be the case for Zon 5, the next test of the system, which would carry a variety of organisms, including tortoises, into an actual lunar flyby and return. That success was widely publicized and put pressure on NASA's lunar program. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Zon 4.